MWH has broad experience in mechanical dewatering and storage of different types of residues in inorganic sediments. Neutralized and go tight tailing materials from a zinc production plant in Belgium used to be stored in a 30 hectare tailing storage facility. MWH was asked to investigate the possibility of lengthening the lifetime of the existing tailing storage facility. Mechanical dewatering of tailing materials using membrane chamber filter presses was investigated. Tailing materials from new production flows as well as existing neutralized tailing materials are removed from two separate storage facilities with dredging pumps. The facility has been designed to treat over 100,000 tons of dry matter of go tight and neutralized tailing material each year. To optimize dewatering capacity and to guarantee a homogeneous and continuous flow to the filter presses, the tailing materials are pumped to a homogenization tank. A set of feeding pumps transport the tailing material from the homogenization tank to the filter presses. Membrane chamber filter presses guarantee optimal dewatering results. The entire process is automated, computerized, and monitored on a control panel. Measurements are performed on different parts of the installation in order to oversee the complete process and to target potential issues and problems as fast and as efficiently as possible. After filling the presses, additional water pressure is applied, resulting in filter cakes with a high dry solid content. After squeezing, the water from the membrane chamber is drained. When the filter chambers open, the filter cakes drop down. The filter cakes are collected on a conveyor belt and are transported to the collection pit located outside the mechanical dewatering facility. The dry matter content of the dewatered material increases from about 30% to about 60%, allowing the filter cakes to be stacked. The filter cakes are transported to the existing storage facility. MWH successfully increased the lifetime of the tailing pond from six and a half years to 22, while dramatically reducing the environmental impacts and safety risks at the site. All of this was achieved without additional investment or increases in operational costs. In order to assure accessibility to the port of Antwerp to large sea-bearing vessels, port authorities need to dispose of huge amounts of contaminated and uncontaminated harbor sediments each year. Due to the scarcity and cost of land in Antwerp, lagooning the sediments is no longer an acceptable solution. As a result, the port was forced to seek a new and sustainable way to deal with its huge amounts of sediments. Mechanical dewatering of dredged sediments is an economic, sustainable solution for the treatment of harbor sediments. The process includes the separation conditioning and dewatering of the sediment using membrane chamber filter presses. In the Amoris installation, 600,000 tons of harbor sediments will be treated annually. The sediments are first dredged and the non-contaminated sediments are discharged into an underwater acceptance cell. The remaining contaminated sediments are pumped directly ashore to a nearby sand separation unit. The incoming sediments pass through this sand separation unit containing rotating sieves and hydrocyclones. Yearly, 60,000 tons of sand is produced. This sand is stockpiled and can be reused. The remaining sediments are then pumped to a dewatering plant over a distance of 4 kilometers with a booster pump facility. The sediments are temporarily stored in four thickening ponds. A rotating bridge spans the thickening ponds. Two dredge pumps are attached to the rotating bridge. This guarantees better operational safety and higher pumping production. The transported sediments can be conditioned with lime, iron chloride or polymers in a large conditioning tank located between the filter presses. Then the sediments are mechanically dewatered in a membrane chamber filter press until a 65% dry matter content is achieved. 
to dewater 600,000 tons of dry matter annually. 12 chamber filter presses are required. The filter cakes are transported to a nearby storage facility via a system of conveyor belts. The filtrate generated from the process is treated in a wastewater treatment plant. The aim is to optimize reuse of the treated filtrate. A storage facility is available close to the mechanical dewatering plant. The goal is to stack 50 meters of filter cakes on top of 10 meters of moderately consolidated silt that already exists on the site. This site will be equipped with all necessary liners to meet regulatory requirements. To prevent the filter cakes from sinking into the underlying silt, they are placed on top of a geotextile according to strict deposition procedure. The installation of vertical drains in the underlying silt prior to the sealing of these layers results in an accelerated consolidation process and a higher stability safety factor during construction. This methodology offers the best guarantee of safety without risk of slides. Moreover, this approach guarantees a maximum exploitation period for the project. Irrespective of possible recycling options for the filter cakes in the future, the deposit area can be used for the next 15 years. The mechanical separation and dewatering of the sediment is technically feasible for the large amount of sediments. The risk to the environment is controlled and limited due to the separation of the dirty and clean flows. Additionally, the excellent compaction of the dry matter ensures an impermeable layer, which also decreases the possible environmental risks. Reuse of the produced filter cakes will be feasible in the near future.